Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another episode of Sim Dog Tuning. I've sorry been away for the last couple of weeks. Um, been really busy with work, been up and down the country, and uh, it's been a bit manic, so I've not had much chance to to get on the Xbox uh, at all. Another sort of tuning track uh, video for you today. This time we're in the uh, 1997 Honda Civic Type R. I know it's a, a, a fan favourite. Um, quite a lot of you race this all the time. This one we're going to be tuning and, and building up to B600, so you can go and use it in the um, in the B-class lobbies and and, and some some of the more the multi-class uh, races that you you guys do. Um, pretty cool livery on this one. Uh, I, I like the yellow paint. Um, on the advertising the star on this uh, really brings back uh, quite a few uh, memories for me and obviously we've got that lovely VTEC engine which we can um, have a, a bit of a listen of um, see if we can start this, this up in the garage and, uh, uh, and yeah, um, drink it all in Get much better, but better than that. Onto the build. There's no um, conversions, no engine swaps. No, of course we're not putting it rear wheel drive any of that business. So uh, onto the aero, full front aero, the Forza aero. Same with the rear wing. We've got no side skirts or uh, or, or rear bumper. Race tire compounds. We're going to have full width on the, on the front. Did you know there are other builds, but full width on the front. Actually, full width on the the rear. It, it brings the PI down, which I always thinks funny, but. Um, it's a bit heavier and um, falls a takes weight into account quite a lot of the time. Choose the rims that suit you. Uh, see some corners in this second category, but it's find the right way. Quite like those actually. Stupid what we have. Rim size is going to be bigger on the front. We've got 18s front and back, which actually make the car look pretty cool. I think uh, any bigger. Uh, be looking a bit ridiculous, but um, they they look pretty cool. The 18s um, drive train. There's no clutch transmission or or drive line. I don't think yet. No drive line. And do remember to put the race diff on because that's that's so crucial in, in front wheel drive. Race brakes. Only one pi. Same weight or, or slightly uh, nicer. There is a, a sport brakes build, but um, I just prefer the feel of race brakes. So. Race springs, make sure you don't click the uh, the drift springs, uh, it's cool the way the car drops down like that. Race anti-roll bars, and then you can either have a sport chassis or the race chassis, it's up to you, how you, you like the car to, to feel, and then race weight reduction. Engine parts, a bit weird on this car actually, we've got, we've got a race filter, but um, it's quite a few sort of street parts, so street intake, street fuel system, um, Street ignition, uh, uh, race exhaust. Look at the weight difference there. So uh, sort of 50, 50 pounds almost difference. No cams, street valves, and, and actually we, we're going to sneak in some some street oil and cooling, which I'm I'm a bit skeptical about. But someone's sort of told me it, it doesn't actually make that much difference, and, and you can't really use the PI in a better way. So um, I'll, I'll have a play, and if I change the setup, then I'll I'll let you guys know. Obviously. Um, 28, 28, can't change the gears as there's no transmission alignment. So rear wheel drive, uh, front wheel drive tuning for me is all about trying to get the back end of the car rotated round. So that's why we've got more rear camber. We've got that toe as well. So as you see, toe out brings the tyres closer together at the, at the front. So that the increase is turn in response, but decreases stability. You don't, you don't really need stability in a front wheel drive car. Those, those front wheels are, are already doing all of the work. You need that the back end to, to come around to then let the um, front wheels grip and drive you out of the corner. In fact, we can probably make this one and one and four team might as well. Um, again, set up for for oversteer, um, sort of or corner entry and during the corner. We just want to get that back end round again on the on the rebound and the bump. Uh, the whole car was geared up to uh, to get the back end round. No rear aero. You don't need it again on, on front wheel drive. You, you may as well not have any back tyres. Even though I put full width on just to get the PI down, believe it or not. Now this diff actually you can you can decrease it a bit. If we have that 100%, then then we turn less out of corners, so it would be smoother. So if you have it not 100%, it's it's you know you need slightly more throttle control. 
sorry, come on board on uh, Road America West, which is the the HLR lap lap uh, hot lap challenge for, for this week. And um, I'm racing against sort of one of my old uh, ghosts here, so we get to see sort of comparison. Uh, um, through some corners and the ultimate sort of lap time. I've got a couple of laps for you, um, and you can see how actually you need to be so precise in, in front wheel drive um, and uh, absolutely push the limits while not going too far so you just understeer off the track, and that's where it's difficult when you've not got the diff at uh, 100%. This corner, super difficult. What gear to take in? I'm still not sure. But you've got to get, catch the bump on the inside be on full throttle and then hope that the car grips and, and doesn't drive just straight off the circuit especially in these front wheel drive cars again lost quite a bit of time there previous go sort of drives through clip the curve on the inside sort of brings you around nicely you can go a little bit on the grass if you want doesn't, doesn't lose you too much time but it's imperative that you you break right for this corner and get on the inside curve because as you see my ghost go a little bit wide there i'm able to take a straight line out and we just fly through so so the ultimate sort of time on this so that was, was quite a lot faster than what I did. Be patient around here. You don't have the uh, the you know the turn on power turn ability that a real wheel drive car has. And, uh, and the cross line in, it, in the 21.6. Actually, the next lap um, after I um, sort of rewinded the first corner because I drove straight off. Um, it's a much better run through the first corner. Carry some great speed through there. Um, stay ahead of that ghost, obviously, and, until um, braking zone here. We changed down to third a little bit too early and, and didn't get on the power as early as it should have there, so we lose some time. And then for some reason, my, my, my capture just, just skipped. So uh, I assume I did the next corner pretty well. You see that again, I was so close to the white line and we, we fly past my um, my previous ghost. This one a little bit wide, but actually we cut in nicely and, and keep some good speed through there. Make sure we go all the way out to that curb and then I actually miss the curb on the inside a little bit, but it doesn't compromise me too much um you know this is where you start getting pressure in, in the lap do i break at the right time actually i break a bit too early potentially there but carry some speed not quite as good as run through the last corner uh, second last corner as i did last lap and we're taking a tighter line around this last corner you can see i'm, I'm really hesitant on the throttle almost getting the grass on the inside actually not the optimal line but you know maintain some good speed and, and across the line in a, in a 21 5 4 8 which is not too bad as I said, just a quick video in the, in the Civic um, B600. You know, let me know what you think that the tune is shared. Obviously, you've got it unlocked there as well, so whatever you find easier. Let me know how it goes racing in lobbies. Um, it's, there are some builds which are, are higher powered and, and lower powered with a bit more handling, but um, I found this is this is quite a good medium between um, a lot of the tracks. Um, again, apologies, it's been a couple of weeks since I uh, uploaded a video. Make sure you check out some of the other tuning guys and, and, and um, sort of obviously give the video a thumbs up if, if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to get a notification every time I post so you don't miss something, then hit the little bell icon that's, that's by the subscribe button as well. Until then, cheers guys, catch you next time.